Before we dive into these wild videos, and trust me, the last one will blow your mind, let's explore the Royal Guard's world. In this image, the guard stands next to a sentry box, a small wooden shelter crucial to their duty. These boxes serve a vital purpose for the Royal Guards in London. Primarily, they offer weather protection, shielding guards from rain, wind, and extreme temperatures. This allows the guards to maintain their post in London's notoriously unpredictable climate. While the weather looks pleasant here, these boxes prove invaluable during harsh conditions, enabling guards to stand watch without compromising their stoic demeanor. Now prepare for some astonishing guard encounters. Now what about those big fuzzy hats the Royal Guards wear? They're not just for show. These are called bearskin hats, and they are huge, about 18 inches tall. They make the guards look way taller and scarier than they really are. Think about it. A normal-sized guy of 5 foot 10 suddenly looks like a 7 foot tall giant when he puts on that hat. This trick goes way back to 1815 during a big battle called Waterloo where they wore these hats to scare the enemy. In my opinion, that is a great tactic because they must have looked huge from far away. The Queen's Guard stands watch at Buckingham Palace, representing centuries of British tradition and history. Dressed in their vivid red uniforms and iconic bearskin hats, these guards are easily recognizable as symbols of Britain. Their motionless stance contrasts sharply with the bustling activity of the city around them, drawing countless tourists who are eager to take photographs of these formidable sentinels. Every year, visitors come to witness the changing of the guard ceremony, a spectacular display of military precision and pageantry that links historical customs with modern times, demonstrating the enduring strength of tradition in a changing world. In addition to their ceremonial roles, the Queen's Guard is also responsible for the security of the monarchy and royal residences. They remain vigilant for potential threats, showcasing a high level of professionalism achieved through extensive training. While they may serve as popular tourist attractions, they are first and foremost soldiers dedicated to their duties. The guards represent a rich historical legacy while also adapting to the needs of today, highlighting how some traditions can endure even as society evolves. This photo was taken in the 1930s at Buckingham Palace. As you can see, the tradition and uniform has not changed much at all. The Royal Guards aren't all on horseback. Actually, most are foot guards, easily spotted by their red tunics and tall bearskin hats, typically standing guard at places like Buckingham Palace. The mounted guards, however, belong to the household cavalry. This is considered an elite unit, often receiving additional allowances or benefits due to their specialized role. Contrary to popular belief, royal guards aren't required to stand completely still or remain silent at all times. While they maintain a disciplined demeanor, they can make small movements, adjust their stance, and even speak when necessary, especially to issue warnings or commands to tourists. In my opinion, if you're planning on going to Buckingham Palace, you should know not to touch the horse's reins. Now brace yourself for these jaw-dropping guard encounters. <laughs> Get off the bed!
Why not? <laughs> that was a cool ticket picture, bro. Why do I keep that? Don't worry, the horse was fine. This is the only video where there's no sound, and we'll play the KO video one more time at the end for you. And I just couldn't resist showing this guy Get one more her! time.